It's been a long time, I know, it's kind of ridiculous. And this is on the other channel, so it's been an even longer time. Shoot. Wanted to jump on really quickly and do a quick unboxing. Quickly, quick unboxing. Wanted to jump on really quickly and do an unboxing. I've got a new um, product that I'm super excited about, which reminds me I need to go grab the other product that this is replacing. But essentially, what I've gotten into recently is uh, gaming and streaming. I've always been interested in streaming and have done it a little bit here and there. I used to do MCOC on this channel, as most of you probably remember. And recently, I picked up uh, Counter Strike with some friends and got back into streaming. Although I'm most likely going to be doing most of that on the Twitch side of things and then uploading clips here of highlights or game talks or stuff like that. But I've been having a lot of trouble with that because of the fact that the converter that I have is a Thunderbolt 2 HDMI and it just did not work. It was not supported by Mac and when they kept doing updates, Blackmagic stopped updating and I don't even think they make this product anymore. And that product that I'm talking about is the Black Magic Mini Recorder. Now, I'm pretty sure this might actually be the wrong device that I needed. Uh, there's a recorder and then there's a monitor. I probably needed the monitor, but, but long story short, this thing just never worked correctly. Especially if you hooked up two of them, which is a funny story. I only bought one, another one was delivered by accident, kept it, doesn't matter anyway, so they don't want it. So, but the premise of this is that it goes HDMI from the camera or whatever device you're trying to use and Thunderbolt to the computer. Uh, for whatever reason, OBS could never pick up this device and properly engage with it. Now, recently I did use this to stream my computer onto my Mac, or my PC onto my Mac, and stream the game while I stream to my laptop, which was working fine. I don't like the quality of the camera though. And the one thing that I've always wanted to do, and the reason why I tried to buy this was because I want to use the camera I'm currently using to record and on my A6500, um, but it just never worked with this. A little bit of research found that the cam link is exactly what I've needed. So I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up and just talk a little bit why I'm so excited about this. I don't really expect anything spectacular out of this box. Also, that camera's got to be shaky as hell. Everything in this box is pretty. Okay, alright. Not too bad. Not super fancy. Packaging? Oh, that's supposed to come out with it. Okay, so that's box and it's just super plug and play which is super awesome and i believe most most things when you plug into windows it automatically finds the drivers and puts it all together so really simple you've got the device which is super light uh, which is alarming of course because it's supposed to be up to 4k and then you've got your hdm or uh, your it's, it's just an extension oh that's kind of cool this is just an extension cord because obviously this is USB 3 uh, by design. So you hook that right into the computer and then you stick an HDMI cable right there um, up to the device that you're trying to stream. And then this is just so that you don't have to have this device sticking out of your computer. You can have it all you know, down somewhere more accessible. So that's kind of cool. But there you go. Of course, what good branding should be sticker probably stick that on my macbook for the heck of it and that little manual that i won't be reading so there you go super excited to get uh, get this tested um we'll probably be doing something tomorrow maybe not not so much tonight because it's already really late uh, but the reason why i'm really excited about this is what i kind of explained earlier and that was i've been having tons of trouble trying to get my dslr to work as my webcam and this is supposed to be the go-to for that at the point at this point but i'm also just excited because in the future i do want to run hdmi devices into my pc and i do want to test it on my macbook to see if it's any better than this was and if it is then i may still try to go back to using my macbook as the streaming computer i'll use this guy to thunderbolt for using or getting my computer onto the getting my pc gaming on there and then use this so that i can uh grab footage from the camera and yeah it's pretty simple I don't know why I had to go into depth on that. If you are interested in grabbing one of these yourself, I uh, haven't tested it yet, but from what I've seen on the reviews, I will be doing a review video very, very soon. It'll be simply just me talking about how easy it is to set up, if it is easy, or any trials that I had with it. 
and then the quality that I get out of the camera. Also, my cameras were not listed on the... Um, an a7r3 and an a6500 neither of them were listed on the compatible um, list for the elgato so i'm going to test that i know that this when in 4k on the monitor does not show any of those um, systems or like any of the display stuff which is what you want to look for when you're trying to get a webcam streaming so if the a7r3 works great i'll let elgato know and then they'll have one more thing on the list so i'll have a review video coming out probably in the next couple after I run this through the ringer. So, super excited. Can't wait to test that out. If you're new, join the crew. And if you're not new, tap and go to the like button, leave a comment, share the video. Those are the things that help grow the crew. Check me out on Twitch. I think it's twitch.tv slash uh, Big Man Media. I think that's how that goes. There'll be a link right here down below. I'll see you later, crew. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da